This video will cover beginner questions part 2 regarding the topic of properties of logarithms. In part 1, we learned the six basic formulas. Now, let's get used to using it. Right now, the log can be confusing and hard to memorize, but once you get used to it, it feels very easy. Question 1, A. Use the product rule in base 10, like no base. Log of x times y equals log of x plus log of y equals log of 2 times 3. We can rewrite as log of 2 plus log of 3. B, 24 equals a times 3, that means 2 cubed times 3, then back to the original, log of 2 cubed times 3 equals log of 2 cubed plus log of 3 equals, use the power rule, log base b of x to the power of n equals n to the front, then n log base b of x, 3 root to the front, then 3 log of 2 plus log of 3. 72 equals 8 times 9, then 2 cubed times 3 squared, then back to the original, log of 2 cubed times 3 squared equals log of, use the product rule, 2 cubed plus log of 3 squared times separate into addition. If times make times, we don't need a formula. Something changes, so we need a formula, right? Then 3 moves here. plus move 2 here, log of 3. 20 equals 4 times 5, then 2 squared times 5. Then back to the original, log of 2 squared times 5 equals log of 2 squared plus log of 5. Is something strange? I did prime factorization while thinking only of log of 2, and this happened. But log of 5 shouldn't be used. So what now? We forget the very important base 10, because there's nothing in the base. Now, let's evaluate again using base 10. Log of 20 equals log of 2 times 10 equals log of 2 plus log of 10. That means log base 10 of 10, which is 1. Then final answer is log of 2 plus 1. From now, we have to keep the multiple of 10 because the base is 10. So 1200 equals 12 times 100 equals 4 times 3 times 100, then 2 squared times 3 times 10 squared equals log of 2 squared times 3 times 10 squared. Now use the product rule. Do you remember something changes? Times means separate into addition. So log of 2 squared plus log of 3 plus log of 10 squared equals 2 moves here plus log of 3 plus 2 moves here log of 10 the final answer equals 2 log of 2 plus log of 3 plus 2
we can rewrite as log of 54 over 100 equals we don't need to simplify the fraction because we have to keep 100 then log of 54 minus log of 100 equals 54 equals 2 times 27 2 times 3 cubed then log of 2 times 3 cubed minus log of 10 squared equals use the product rule log of 2 plus log of 3 cubed minus 2 moves here to log of 10 the final answer equals log of 2 plus 3 moves here log of 3 minus log of 10 equals 1 so minus 2 log of 3.6 equals log of 36 over 10 equals log of 36 minus log of 10 equals 36 equals 4 times 9 then 2 squared times 3 squared then log of 2 squared times 3 squared minus log of 10 means 1 equals use the product rule log of 2 squared times means addition then log of 3 squared minus 1 then 2 log of 2 plus 2 log of 3 minus 1 use change of base rule log base b of x equals log base c of x over log base c of b in here base is 10 that means no base so we can rewrite as log 10 of x over log base 10 of b then back to the original log of 18 over log of 6 equals log of 18 means 2 times 3 squared over log of 2 times 3 equals log of 2 plus log of 3 squared over log of 2 plus log of 3 final answer is log of 2 plus 2 moves here log of 3 over log of 2 plus log of 3 is a difficult one for beginner but i put it here to get used to it we can rewrite as log of 10 over 2 then use the quotient log of 10 minus log of 2 then log of 10 means log base 10 of 10 which is 1 minus log of 2 question 2 a we can rewrite as log of 5 times 10 equals use the product rule log of 5 plus log of 10 equals log of 5 was k plus log base 10 over 10 which is 1 log of 5000 equals log of 5 times 1000 equals log of 5 plus log of 10 cubed equals log of 5 plus 3 moves here then log of 10 
the logo five was K plus three. See, we can rewrite as log of five over ten equals use the quotient rule log of five minus log of ten. Log of five was K minus one. We can rewrite as log of 5 to the power of 1 over 2, then 1 over 2, move to the front, then log of 5, then 1 over 2 times k, or k over 2. Log of 5 to the power of 12 equals 12, moves here, then log of 5, equals 12 times k. Use the quotient rule. Log of 5 minus log of 100 equals k minus log of 10 squared equals k minus 2 log of 10. The final answer equals k minus 2. Question 3. The same concept, but a little more difficult, shall we? The first one is log base 5 of 4 squared equals 2 moves here, then 2 log base 5 of 4 equals 2 times x. log base 5 of, we can write 2 as the square root of 4 equals log base 5 of 4 to the power of 1 over 2 then 1 over 2 moves here log base 5 of 4 equals 1 over 2 times x or the argument 4 is greater than 2. We start here. Log base 5 of 4 equals x. Then log base 5 of 2 squared equals x. Then 2 moves here. 2 log base 5 of 2 equals x. Then divide by 2 on each side log base 5 over 2 equals x over 2. We have the same answer. It looks easy when you look at the explanation, but when you try to solve it on your own, it is sometimes hard to remember. So you just have to remember which method is right for you. 80 divided by 4 is 20 divided by 4 is 5. We can rewrite as log base 5 of 80, that means 4 squared times 5 equals log base 5 of 4 squared plus log base 5 of 5 equals, move to here, log base 5 of 4 plus 1, the final answer equals 2x plus 1. This is the last one, log base 5 of 7th root of 64 is 4 cubed equals log base 5 of, make the power form, 4 to the power of 3 over 7 equals this one moves here 3 over 7 log base 5 of 4 equals 3 over 7 times x. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.